It's Impact with the Florida Star, the largest, oldest, and most read African American newspaper in Northeast Florida and South Georgia. And now, here's the host, the publisher of the award winning Florida Star, Clara McLaughlin. Oh, well, thank you so much for joining us tonight here on Impact. And we have our dear Congresswoman, Corrine Brown, and of course, the attorney. Opio. Good evening. Ciccone, who's also the general manager for the Florida Star. And I'm sitting here with two beautiful, strong black women. <laughs> I'm lucky. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> okay. But there's so much going on. We had to have you here tonight. Oh, I wanted to be here. Okay. So we can start off by saying we're on your side. <laughs> <laughs> right. I really appreciate the prayers that I've got in the support that I've gotten from the community in every segment. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I just returned from Cincinnati. Right. And I was the keynote speaker at the NAACP mm -hmm. Veterans Luncheon. Mm -hmm. And uh, if people came up to me, not from Florida, and, and said, you know, we are praying for you. Man. And so that is amazing, but it was a wonderful program. Uh, we uh, gave the uh, Jesse Brown Award. Mm -hmm. And of course, Jesse Brown was the secretary that I served under. The first VA secretary, mm -hmm. Bill Clinton, appointed him in uh, 1992. And he served several years there, and he really began the change positive for VA. And his motto was putting veterans first. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need to continue to do, you do. put veterans first. Mm -hmm. And we're proud that you are leading that. Yes. I can say you're leading it. I'm looking at my finger. I went to VA yesterday, and this is what they put on my finger mm -hmm. because it was hurting me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this, it hasn't been failing me today. Okay. <laughs> well, the, and Clara, you used to be in the Navy. I was in the Navy. Right. Yeah. Well, see, now, I did not know that. <laughs> really? Well. Oh, all right. <laughs> and see, that is another thing. Mm -hmm. Women have made such a contribution, and uh, people don't know about the women contribution. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And people talk about the fact that out of the, let's say, t the 22 veterans a day commit suicide, now it's 20. However, the fastest growing group mm -hmm. is women veterans really? because right. they don't feel a part of the system and we've got to get them in. Right. Well. And the Women Memorial, heck, they came to me and told me that they were going to close because they didn't have any funds. And, the, you know, we don't do earmarks anymore. Mm -hmm. I said, we, we will not close under my watch. As the ranking member of Veterans Affairs, mm -hmm. I work with Congressman Crenshaw, my counterpart. Yes, for Florida, yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> and, the, and the House leadership, the speaker, mm -hmm. and the ranking member. And we have a women's group that's Democrats and Republicans. And we was able to get the $5 million mm -hmm. for them. I said it will not close under my watch. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Because <laughs> it's so important that women understand mm -hmm. the contribution that you all have made. Well, you know what? I, I wanted to go to college, and my parents didn't have the money, so I joined the Navy so I didn't go to college. That's wonderful. And I, all, I mean, the whole time I was in, I played the organ for Mass. Every Sunday morning, I, was, I put, worked for the chaplains, for the priests, most of all. And I played the organ every Sunday morning. and. That was it. The proudest thing that I've ever done, one of them, was that I got the Moffett Point Marines, the gold medal. Absolutely. And that is so wonderful mm -hmm. because so many of those uh, Marines, you know, um, they did so much. Mm -hmm. And all of the other branches, the nation honored them, mm -hmm. but they had not honored the Marines. Right. It was the last group mm -hmm. uh, of soldiers that got honored. And I was happy to lead the charge. And I, I tell you, the commander came to me and he says, Corrine, I've got to tell you something. He said, you should have been a Marine. And that's the nicest thing that anybody ever said to me. <laughs> I guess I'm a drill sergeant. <laughs> you get it done. 
<laughs> and you haven't stopped getting it done. That's why we are here with you tonight. Thank you. Thank because you. you, they say Corinne delivers, that means she gets it done. Well, I read an article uh, in the Times Union, and they said, well, who does she get it done for? Well, I, I said, well, they that's know interesting. That. They know better than they, that. Yeah, no, but they, it, I actually said that. Well, it, do, do we get it done for the veterans? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. I get medical mm -hmm. care. Yeah, Medicare. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And making sure that in Jacksonville we have a veteran cemetery. Mm -hmm. And I decided that I wanted to get that cemetery. I decided. Mm -hmm. So in order to get it, it's formula driven. So the first thing I had to do was double the the uh, cemetery in Bushnell, mm -hmm. and we got that done. Then you had to go to Miami. Well, Miami don't have the space for a cemetery, so we did it in West Palm. Then I could get the cemetery in Jacksonville, and now we're getting the cemetery in Tallahassee, my new area. Yes, I went to the dedication of that. We have the best clinic in Jacksonville right. in the country. Really? I say it's a step-down hospital. <laughs> and then, of course, the, the hospital in Orlando mm -hmm. is one of the best ones in the country. Wow. And I said, the bill in that hospital, it took 25 years and it was like birthing a baby. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, it was so many problems with the VA mm -hmm. and the contractors. And, I mean, it went on for a long time, but now it is state of the art. It is. And, of course, I'll never forget when I went down to Gainesville and I went to one of the football games. You know, I love Gators. Mm -hmm. But I always try to do a little work mm -hmm. while I'm working and, and having a little fun. So I went to visit the veterans when I was there. The big hospital. The big hospital. It's mm -hmm. the, 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 it, was, it had been an old hospital. Mm -hmm. And the veterans in that hospital had to go to the end of the hall mm -hmm. in order to use, take a shower and use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Now that doesn't happen in any hospital. Mm -hmm. And now it doesn't happen in that mm -hmm. hospital. Mm -hmm. I got a wraparound. Mm -hmm. So every last room is a suite. That's a Corrine Brown initiative. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, one of the things that mm -hmm. those of us who are looking at all these things that's happening to you, mm -hmm. they're talking about uh, children uh, that are getting scholarships. And mm -hmm. you can pick up a newspaper with Florida Star, a number of issues, and see these large number of students that are getting the no, this money because of you. Yeah, I've gotten this money because of you. Talk no, a little bit no, about yeah. that. Well, the, the point is, uh, I can only talk about what I've done. Right. Mm -hmm. And, the, you know, the, I like the Negro spiritual. Let the work I've done speak, speak for me. For That's me. right. That's yes, right. Let That's the right. work I've done speak for me. I sent 20 plus kids to China. Right. Free. Man. They went to China. Uh, the only thing they had to have was their passports. I paid for their airline ticket. Mm -hmm. I paid for their um, uh, their visas, their insurance, and once they got to China, the Chinese government paid for everything else. Man, and they went to three cities, and guess what? They did something I've never done. They rode the high speed train oh, in I China. Do, I wouldn't have done it. Oh, I would have. I would have. Oh God. Like Two hundred miles an hour. Or oh, something like that. yes, yes, yes. Oh, goodness, that's so exciting. <laughs> yes, they did. And here's a picture of these kids. Uh, and so they, yes, they went to China, and I. Talked that's on the current issue uh -huh. of the uh, Florida Star. That's, that's on the right. newsstands today. Of course, it's going to be a new issue tomorrow, so you got to go pick it up tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so these kids went to China, but in addition to that, the Congressional Black Caucus have been operating for over 40 years, mm -hmm. and many people in the communities have come to the uh, banquet. Mm -hmm. Well, but the point is, during the day we have our workshops. And um, I have hosted over 50 kids mm -hmm. that have gotten Congressional Black Caucus scholarships. That's right. And in fact, I've got an office full of them as we speak. Mm -hmm. Because I always, and, and some of the people that's gotten this scholarship is uh, Chris Chestnut. Right, I know that. And you know that, yeah, that's Gainesville. right, that's right, from Gainesville. <laughs> but the point is, I've been doing this since day one. Mm -hmm. that I've had these scholarships. Uh, I, I also have the um, arts festival, mm -hmm. uh, you know, where we have the competition 
and the winner gets to go to Washington yeah. and uh, it, the, the airline uh, sponsored them two people to come up and they spend the weekend I have with the hotel and they their uh, painting hangs in the Capitol for a year really yes absolutely mm -hmm. so those are some of the things that I've done but one of the things that was very disturbing was the plus loan mm -hmm. because we lost 50 black 50,000 black kids from higher education and I led the fight with the Congressional Black Caucus and Cedric Richardson he was a good guy. I was the bad one. You know, the good cop and the bad. I was the bad cop. <laughs> I was the bad cop. Because it was unacceptable to me that we lost 50,000 kids Man. because of their parents' financial situation. Right. Mm -hmm. So if your parent uh, was behind on a loan, then they cut the financial aid to the oh, student. Oh, really? That, that's just, you can go on my website and pull it up. It's the plus loan. Mm -hmm. And so it took us two years to get that straight. And I'll never forget, I saw in the paper that where one student was a, a junior or something at Spelman. She had dropped out and was working full time at a Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. I said, now that's not what I want for my kids. <laughs> you know. And so we were able to get that reinstated. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had to go to the rule making process and it took time, but we got it done because failure was not an option. Right. right. I said, on my watch, right. we're just not going to happen. And, this, and we're going to let it stay your watch. I want well, you to understand. You know, uh, you to stay someone her watch. has said that um, Corrine won't win her election. Mm -hmm. Now, with the foolishness going on, I will not win unless people go out and vote. Right. Absolutely. Now, and the point of the matter is, I was going through and I was at the convention, the NAACP, mm -hmm. and a young lady came up to me all excited. She said, I've changed my party so I could vote against Angela Curry. I said, well, what do you mean? She said, and she was a Democrat, and she switched to the Republican Party so she could vote for Angela Curry. I said, do, do yeah. you understand you won't be voting for me? <laughs> <laughs> do you understand? Her eyes got as big. She, I said, you can't vote in the Democratic primary if you're not a Democrat. Right. And I right. said, I need your vote. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've known for four years if you want to run somebody, uh, then you should run them. Mm -hmm. In Florida, we have a close primary. Right. So we have several candidates on the ballot and Corrine Brown is the first one, but we have house races, and uh, and they the, the the legislators tell the state attorneys what to do, and so we have a, 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 a we have two house races in Jacksonville. Right. In addition to that, we got school board races. So I, I would I found out it was a hundred and eight people. Mm -hmm. African-Americans, blacks have changed. Mm -hmm. I'm sending them a letter. They'll get it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want them to know that, do they know that they can't vote for me? And no, it looks no. like that doesn't even have to happen because the Republicans that uh, Angela Corey loves so much, it seems like they've gone for Nelson at this point. Really? And so you don't need blacks to do that, mm -hmm. it looks like. But you're right, we mentioned that in the paper. Mm -hmm. uh, for those people who wanted to switch over party, you have some other things that you have to think about. Mm -hmm. Corinne Brown is running. Right. right. And these other races. Right. Yeah, and you I can't, can't, vote, in the paper. You can't vote in the right. Democratic primary. Right. We have a closed primary. Mm -hmm. So if you're not a Democrat, you they can't vote, vote in the Democratic primary. Right. But, you know, I. I They're not changing their parties over in Tallahassee. No, no. Listen, I don't want no <laughs> hanky panky mm -hmm. right. in no election. If you want to run for the state attorney, run for it. Right. Mm -hmm. The Democrats should have had a candidate. Mm -hmm. right. Period. Right. Yeah. That's right. Know why know. That's right. We should have had a candidate. We got well. organizations of black people yeah. that are lawyers. That's right. Why can't we? we, should, why, we why can't we? We mm -hmm. should have had a candidate. You right. know, for four years, like, we have very qualified, smart, black uh, lawyers. Mm -hmm. Or it could have been a, a, a white lawyer, mm -hmm. just as long as it was a Democrat or an independent. Right. If you was an independent, did everybody get to vote in that uh, race also? Mm -hmm. But you didn't put up a candidate as a Democrat or independent, and you talking about switching 
And that means that you will not vote for the other Democrats that's so important. Right. Uh, as I said at that meeting, let me tell you something. People have told me in the past, I go in and I vote for you and I walk out. I said, no, no. It's a team effort. Right. You need people on the city council. You need people on the uh, state reps. Mm -hmm. You need to make sure when we have judges mm -hmm. that you vote for the judges right. because they can have influence over what happens with the uh, mm -hmm. attorney making sure that we have proper representation. Mm -hmm. So we, we need to be a team mm -hmm. and, right. and everybody needs to do their part. Right. right. Looks like we're going to have to go to a break, but when we come back, let's talk about uh, Dr. Martin Luther King and how he was hounded by the federal government okay, uh, through yes, investigations right. the yes. same way that's so going on with night. Corrine Brown mm -hmm. right oh, now. Oh, that sounds good. That, that sounds good. Okay. Okay. We're going to take a quick break and come back. Do you know what media received the first Eagle yeah, Award by the Jacksonville it's Sheriff's it's Office it's for being the most right factual? The Florida oh, Star. Yeah, you. Do you know which media solely addresses road. issues of yeah, concern for African Americans? The Florida Star. Do you know which media carries local, state, national, and international news regarding African Americans? The Florida Star. Do you know the only media that carries a special <laughs> section for our youth? Dr. Brown. Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Many hats. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. you know the Florida Star, mm -hmm. Northeast Florida's largest, oldest, yeah, and most read African American newspaper serving since 19. In more than 200 locations, the Florida Star. News you can use, news you can trust, the people's choice, striving to make a difference. Subscribe today. Call 766-8834. That's 766-8834. Pick up the Florida Star in over 200 locations. Or to have it delivered, call 766-8834. The Florida Star, speaking truth to power. Yes. Okay. We're coming back with uh, discussing, discussing voting. And I want to remind you that if you have not received your new voter registra registration card by, within the next couple of weeks, call the supervisor of the election office and get one. Because they are sending out new cards, okay? And because if you want to vote in the primary, you got to have a new card. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, I talk with them about it, and if you, don't, if you don't have it in Florida, call 630-1414. In Georgia, 912-554-7063 and tell them you, you need your card. I'll go get it. <laughs> but, you know, I, I want to thank both of you all for, for what you all do to the community as far as educating the community mm -hmm. about issues. And, you know, it's very sad that you live in a community and it is closed as far as if you don't have a way to communicate, yeah. if you don't have a way to get out your message, then any message will do. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. And That's so right. the, the key is that we've got to support the Florida Star and other uh other papers, mm -hmm. but you know, Florida Star is, is my number one. <laughs> but the key is you got to be able to tell your story. Right. I wonder how in the past, the reason why people know more about the shootings and what's going on mm -hmm. is because we all now are many reporters. That's right. <laughs> we That's all, right. You know, Thank everybody is so, mm -hmm. things have been going on in the past. Everybody has a camera everybody now. Everybody has a camera. Right. And so you're, you're on stage at all times. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and so I have a, a what is it? This website. Right. Facebook. Uh, Facebook, yes. Mm -hmm. So I was on Facebook and, and I, I I, you know, I don't know that much about it, but I know I was on. And uh, I was talking about Martin Luther King mm -hmm. and how the federal government hounded him. They a, lot of people don't un, a lot of people don't know that, I, but they I, were incessant about it. Absolutely. And taped him and followed him mm -hmm. and harassed him. The way him. they've done you over the absolutely. years. Absolutely. The way they've done me over the years and listened to his phone calls and yes. everything. Mm -hmm. It is amazing to me. They lied on him. Oh, it it, uh, it um it is amazing to me, mm -hmm. and so I, I mean you it, it's just a nightmare. Right. Mm -hmm. It is a 
absolute nightmare. I'm very friendly with Martin Luther King's son, mm -hmm. and of course he will be coming here during the campaign. Right. And uh, he he does so. I remember once I'm in the backwoods of Mississippi. He in the backwoods of Mississippi, <laughs> helping people with foreclosures mm -hmm. because I am the only member of Congress that travel around the country. Mm helping people stay in their homes. Mm -hmm. And I was telling someone, I said, you know, the major source of the wealth in black community is their homes. They said, Corrine, that's the all the community white too. <laughs> so everybody, the major source of wealth mm -hmm. is their home. Right. And when we were losing those homes, mm -hmm. you we had to do something about it. And so I work with NAFTA and the president, Bruce Mark, who is coming here also and is interested in opening up an office here in Jacksonville. Oh. Help people. They've got a new mortgage, 15-year mortgage, mm -hmm. which I think is exciting because, uh, you know, most of us yeah, have that 30-year mm -hmm. mortgage, but they have a new 15-year mortgage. Oh, okay. So he's going to come uh, during the camp. Well, it won't be campaign, it'll be legislative stuff, but he'll be here in the next month okay. to tell people about the 15-year mortgage, which is exciting. Right. There's a movement right now where, because of all the things that are going on um, with Black Lives Matter and uh, people begin thinking about what putting money. What does that Black Lives Matter mean? Because some people don't like that. They don't like black part of it. <laughs> oh, they don't like lives matter. <laughs> The black word is what they don't like. Now, if you say blue lives matter, or if you say all lives matter, or you can say dogs lives matter, they're all for it. It's the only one they say black lives matter that we have a problem. Mm -hmm. That's the only one. Okay. It's, it's really interesting. But a number of people are joining black banks now. Have you heard about that? And trying to figure out, and credit unions, and trying mm -hmm. to figure out how they can leverage black wealth and power. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about uh, the importance of black banks if there's any importance we at all. Well, we used here. to have one here. I think, there, I think there's one here, but it's only for like a, a teacher's union or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that, that's real old. I, no, I think it's a credit union. Right. That's oh, really old. Yes, yes, right. yes. Yeah. But uh, I, I've got to tell you, when we, the federal government said that all of the checks had to be deposited, mm -hmm. uh, because you remember how people were being, well, it was so much cheaper for the federal government to send your retirement check or your uh, Social Security check uh, to a bank, mm -hmm. and then people, they were waiting the first of the month, people mm -hmm. was attacking them and everything, and so one of the things the banks worked out, not the banks, I'm sorry, the credit union worked out, so people could make those deposits right. without charge, mm -hmm. working mm -hmm. with us, mm -hmm. and that's very good, but listen, wealth is just that, and if we don't find a way to harness our wealth, and to leverage our wealth, to make a difference in our communities. As we were talking about it earlier, uh, the reason why I love, love Orlando is because all of those independent agencies there, whether you're talking about the Electric Authority, the Transportation Authority, the Port Authority, the Airport Authority, they, when they do projects, they understand the importance of making sure there is minority participation. Right. We're talking about black participation, Hispanic participation, women participation, and I think that's important. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's very important that we all get a chance to participate in what I call my grandmama's sweet potato pie. <laughs> we, we all contribute to the ingredients. That's our taxes. So we all should be able to get a share. That's right. A slice. Mm -hmm. right. You still got the whole pie. Right, right, <laughs> right. Good right. You know, right. <laughs> because we're fighting for 15% of mm -hmm. the pie, mm -hmm. but they want the 15% too. The, they want the whole pie. No, the it, whole it's pie. not even 15, it's 10. Right. It's all, like that. And, and transportation mm -hmm. is 10. And they want it all. Why? Right. You still have the whole pie. And if you participate, let's say if you had a contract, then you would train young people. You would right. give them jobs. That's right. And so that's economic development in the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is the key. You will give uh, jobs, uh, uh, co-ops, and, mm -hmm. and opportunities for young people. Right. What's the difference? What's going to be the difference between uh, North South and your leadership and East West? Is there going to be something different that you will be able, that you will do uh, as the Congresswoman of the new district that you didn't do or couldn't do in the other one? Or is there going to be a difference at all? I'm the same person. <laughs> <laughs> because you got Lando versus <laughs> Tallahassee. <laughs> it's no comparison. Let's don't try. <laughs> don't, don't make me cry. <laughs> oh, God. Don't make me cry. My wife never said, let's go to Tallahassee. She always goes, let's go to Orlando. 
<laughs> I wonder why. It's so much life and energy. Yes. Yes. Uh, but the, it's international. Oh, it is international. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's the number one tourist destination in the world. That's right. true. The number one tourist destination in the world. Right. And of course, I, 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 I was fighting to make sure that we got the additional resources we need for the airport, mm -hmm. the, the dogs. I got two dogs and the other two in school. I mean, it just, <laughs> those are the kinds of things. <laughs> he makes sure it gets done. Yeah, right, make sure right. it gets done. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but, and then, of course, But you got these prisons now. You got all these all prisons in there that you're going to have to deal they with. They can't vote. Uh, yeah, they can't vote. But I've worked so hard to keep people out of prison. But education is still the key, right. and so uh, there are some things that I've worked already. Uh, when I said, "Fam, you, I'm a Florida A&M graduate," mm -hmm. and so when I went to a Congress, the first thing I was able to do was to get them a NASA grant, wow. and, and they got five million dollars a year Man. for several years. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we just gave woo, the <laughs> largest land grant. Uh, in the history of the United States, the Florida A&M University. Yeah. Yes, the the largest, FAMU. yes, 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 that's right. We got another FAMU yeah. person in here. Well, we have a FAMU. Two Howard and two FAMU. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, just the largest land grant ever under President Barack Obama right. in the history of the United States, we just gave it to Florida A&M University wow. to right. develop. I sent that in for the hmm. paper this week. Okay. 4,000 oh, right, acres, right. 4,000 acres. So I am very excited, and it's an opportunity that they can develop it, and it's right by the, the National Cemetery in Bushdale. And it is, it's a property already there. Mm -hmm. So it is a, a, it's a great opportunity for Florida a &M University it's to expand. Right. Now, I know you've been looking at some of the, uh, what's going on in the RNC and, and Michelle Obama. Uh, it looks like um, <laughs> Trump's wife liked the speech better than... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? The but, thing about it, you know, I, I really get disturbed with this because her... Writer is saying that she wrote the speech and she's sorry, but she didn't get fired. That means she didn't write the speech, she got paid <laughs> yep. to stay on board, okay? Otherwise, she wouldn't be out there telling people. That's my, that's Clara's philosophy. Right. <laughs> well, I, I, I've been watching them mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to going to the uh, Democratic Convention next week uh, and uh, participating and uh, but, you know, it, this election... In D.C., are you a star in D.C.? A yes, star? Yes, she is. No, no, no. I, I, yes, I, you are. I, I've been the, in D.C. Mm -hmm. I went to law school in D.C. You are a star. I, I want to know, do you know that you are a star in D.C.? <laughs> no, no, no. Yes, you are. You know they call her, right? They call her the Queen of the South. They do say Queen. <laughs> am I lying? But, but, yeah, no, they call they her do. Queen of the South. Right. Listen, but do you know what I am? I am a Hebrew slave. Listen, I you know the doctors used to be on call twenty four seven. Right. I'm on call twenty four seven. Okay. So right. I work right. all the time and uh, right. you know and I Listen, I really do believe that when you're born, you get a birth certificate. Mm -hmm. I say that all the time, and when you die, you're going to get a death certificate. Right. Mm -hmm. And that little dash in between is what you've done to That's make right. this a better place. Absolutely. Right. I okay. could be doing a lot of additional things, mm -hmm. but I am there, I'm in the room, and I know why I'm in the room. Right. Because if you don't know why you're in the room, you're just in there because you think you're so great or right. you're so grand. That's right. You're in the room because you can help people. That's you can make a difference. Okay, I want to remind people to vote, to register to vote by That's August 1st right. yes. and vote on August 30th. And we're going to have a campaign okay. headquarters opening next Saturday. Right, okay. So we're going to have a yard signs and whatever people can come out and okay. we're going to have hot dogs and music and we're going to do what we always do. But I don't You're going to have fish? Okay. Fish. Yeah. We're, we're gonna have fish. Make sure you have some fish. Okay. Gonna, I know one event you had. You had a whole bunch of fish and crabs. Okay. Oh, oh, oh I'm there. You to call. Okay. Pick the cardinals of the Okay. And more than two hundred locations. Sign up. Oh yes. Still the people's choice. Striving to make a difference. Oh, you make a difference. Okay. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. And we want to thank the Florida Star for another great Florida Star Impact program right here at AM 1360 WC.